This is Gemara in Kedusha in the Daf Chof Ches. All the learning of this month, the month of Elul, has been generously sponsored as incredible schos. Alias Nishamov Esther Rezol Basra Meir Bisiyata Dishmayo. The learning of the entire Chabura should bring Esther Rezol Basra Meir an incredible Alias Nishama, elevating her, shama, her Nishama higher and higher in Ganeda and Nishel Mailo. We pick it up on the bottom of Chavzayin Omid Beis. And we're in the middle of discussing the sugya of Gilgul Shvua. That when there's a requirement to make a Shvua on one entity, most notably Karka, we can be Migal Gel. We can roll a Shvua, we can roll the oath onto something else like Metaltlin. And we were looking for a source. The source that we found on the bottom of Chavzayin Omid Beis was Saita. As we found by Saita that the woman potentially has to swear when she's in Arusa, when she's in Nesua, Yevama, even though Saita is not necessarily Shaykh possible at those moments. So we said, the way that it must be is via a Gilgal Shvua. But the problem is, we ended off in the second to last line of Chavzayin with Beis, that Ashkechan Saita di Sura. We found a source for Saita, which is Iser. But and where do we find the same concept by Maman, which is what we're trying to apply it to by us? Ashvua by Karka rolling onto Metaltlin. Says the Gemara Tana Dve Rabbi Ishmael teaches Rabbi Ishmael Kalva Chaimer. We can learn it out from a good old fashioned Kalva Chaimer from Saita. Uma Saita. When it comes to Saito, which we've already proved, where there is the content of Gilgul Shvua. By Saito, what's that din? The din of Saito is such that there's no din of a Shvua with, if there is only an Eid Echad. And yet, even though there's this leniency, there's this cow by Saito, in which it does not apply by Yerachad yet. Megal Galen, we find the concept of Gilgal Shvua. If you weren't sure about Litvay Beirachad, if you looked at the top Rashi, he says Shvua Shalah Beirachad. Yet, Mamoin, when it comes to monetary matters, Shanitain Litvay Beirachad, which there is the concept of of making a shvua, as Rashi says in the third line from the top, If one aid says that one is obligated, Allah is, you have to swear that we learn from the puzzle of the Kum, and for there we dash in the Chol Avon, the Chol Chatos, say no, you come. Avalkamul Shvua, that's how Rashi teaches us the source that there is a concept of shvua of an aid echad by Mamun. So says the Gemara in Aydin, does it not apply? Is there not a Kalvah Chaymer? That similarly, in that there would be a concept of Gilgal by Mamanis. Says the Gemara, give Aldik. So you have a source of Gilgal Shvua by Mamanis. But says the Gemara, where's your source? Ashkechan Bivadai. You found that there's a concept of Gilgal Shvua. By a tainas bari, when there's an absolute taina. However, Safek Minalon asks the Gemara, where do we find, where do we find a case that even in a case of Safek, as Rashi points out, most notably, Shvuasa Shotfim, Varisin, in cases where there are partners, cases where people are coming to divide, where the Allah has such a scenario is, where there would even be a shvua, even though it is a suffix. So how do we know that even in such a matter, that we could say the concept of Gilgal shvua to be Megalgal the shvua, even onto another entity? Answers the Gemara. Tanya, we learned in Abraisa. Three lines from the Tab, Chav Chesam and Aleph. Rajbi Oimer says Rav Shimon Bar Yochai Nemra Shvua Ba'achutz v'Nemra Shvua Bifnim. It says Shvua Ba'achutz and it says Shvua Bifnim. What is Ba'achutz? What is Bifnim? Baruch Ata Adinoi Eliheinu Melech Olam Shehakol. Chutz means outside. 
Outside of what? The base of Mikdash, of course. Bifnim. Inside. What Shvua is inside? So we look down at Rashi. Rashi is at the end of the narrow lines. And Rashi teaches us. What is Bifnim? <coughs> Excuse me. That is notably the Shvua of Saita, which we're talking about. Which the Shvua applies in the Azara. So says Rav Shimon Bar Yochai. There is the content of Shvua Bachot. So there's the content of Shvua Bifnim. Ma Shvua Amura Bifnim. Just like when it comes to Bifnim, just like when it comes to the Shvua of a Saita, Asaba Safek Kevadai, we make a Safek like a Vadai that we allow there to be a Gilgul Shvua. Ashwam Rabachot, Asaba Safek Kevadai. So answers the Gemara that really we're sticking with our source from Saita. We said, but wait! Saita is only Isura. How do we fight Gilgul Shvua by Mimhaina? Kalva Chaimer. But it's only Vadai. How do we find Safek? Saita again. Because Saita is a Shvua Bifnim in which we find Asaba Safek Vadai, so too by other entities. So now that we have a source of Gilgul Shvua, both by Safek, both by Vadai, both by Isura, notably Saita, and by Isser. Asks the Gemara, six lines from the top, Ad Heichon Gilgul Shvua. How far does Gilgul Shvua go? Amar Rav Yudamar Rav. Teaches Rav Yudamar Rav. The Amar Lei. If the one that's making the claim says, Ish Ali She'ein Avdi Ata. Make a Shvua that you're not my Eved. That's how far it goes. That you could even make him make a Shvua which is seemingly something. That is absolutely no shaykhis. Rashi says. Still, that could be included in a shvua. Says the Gemara, Hahushamuti Mishamtina Lei. Such a person we put into Khairim. Why do we put someone into Khairim? Asked the Gemara, because the Gemara assumes that he's claiming he's his Evid Kenaini. Says the Gemara, to say Zones is Evid Kenaini without any, without any Raya, we make, we put that person into Khairim. So says the Gemara, certainly we wouldn't make him make a Shvua to that. What's the source? The Tanya we learned in Abraisa. Ha Kaira Lechaveiro Yeved. So in calls his friend in Eved, Yeben Yidoi. He puts in Khairim. Mamzer, if he calls his friend, a oh, Mamzer, what's that lacha? Soifeg eser him he gets Malkos. Rasha, if you call your friend a Rasha, such a timely Gemara. Right before Rosh Hashanah, we see the power of our words. What's that lacha? If you call your friend a Rasha, Yared imai lachayov. The person who was insulted could take him to task. You're messing up my livelihood. People think I'm not a trustworthy person. So I ask the Gemara, how could you, Rabbi Yudamarav, say that how far is Gilgul Shvua even to make him make a Shvua about an Eved? What do you mean? If you call someone an Eved, you go to Cheirim. El Amai Rava. So rather says Rava, Samakim, Rava, Amir, Chav, Chesem, and Alf. First with the line is, Amar, Hey Shvi Ali, make a Shvua to me. You know how far Gilgul Shvua goes. You can make him make a Shvua, Shaloi, Nimkar, Tali, Be'eved, Ivri. That you are not sold to me. As in Evid Ivri. Says the Gemara, one second. Why can you make so make a Shvuan that I dine him hell, you see? That's a good taina. The person owes you money by saying to the person, you're my Evid, you're basically obsessively saying you owe me money. So why would he have to make a Shvuan in response to that? It's a taina of money. Says the Gemara, because this is Rava Litaine. This is Shitas Rava. To all my Rava, as Rava teaches, we've had this Gemara after Zion. We'll see this again in Mirza Hashem Baba Kama. Damai Rava, Eved Ivri Gufai Kanoi. Rava holds an Eved Ivri is not only a tiny amominous. You're not only making a monetary claim. You own his actual body. So when you make a claim of Avdos, that's where we can be Megalgal, the Shvu onto that. Ask the Gemara one second. Hiachi Hainu Karka. If Eved is body, is Guf, that's Karka, it's a regular Gilgul Shvu. Says the Gemara, you know what? I would have thought Karku the Avdi Inchi the Mezav Nibitzina. I would have thought when it comes to Karku, when it comes to land, there are times that a person will sell his Karku in privacy, and therefore a Mezav Nibitzina less like Kala. 
and therefore, if so insulted, it would be there might ne- might not necessarily be a call, be a voice, be a rumor. People might not know about it, and that's why there's the concept of Gilgal Shvuah. Hi, but this what guy to say he sold himself in Isa de Zavin That's what you would have thought. Kamash Malan, you keep him make a shvua that he is not your Evid. And therein d- finishes the halachas of Gilgal Shvua. We continue with the Mishnah on the bottom of Chalchesim and Aleph, which continues Kinyanim, continues transactions. Kol Anasedamim Bacher. Anything that is used for damim, that is used for a payment. When one party takes possession of it. Once the money is transferred, the other person is obligated in the exchange, meaning in the item. I give you the hundred bucks. You got to give me the watch. If I'm giving you something else in lieu of a hundred dollars, has a din of a hundred dollars, and you still have to give me the item. Keitza, the Gemara explains, like we just said, Hechlev Shar Bepara. Let's say we're exchanging not a hundred dollars, but I'll give you my Shar for your Para. Or, Oichamar Bishar. What's the Allah? Kimich Ezach Hazel. When this guy makes a kidney in one, Nizchayiv Zeb Bechalip, he has to give him the item. And of course, the practical difference is going to be that what? You're obligated in the item at that moment. Says the Gemara, one second. Chalipin my new. What do you mean by chalipin? That you're obligated in the exchange, you're obligated in the item. Matbea, it means the coin. Shmamina says the Gemara. Matbea, nasa chalipin. From here we have a raya that a coin, money, could be used as chalipin. We know generally what is used as chalipin an item. We know at the chassan's tish, the Messiah the Kedusha will take off his yarmulke, or he'll use a handkerchief, he'll use an item. Can you use cash as chalipin? It's a shayla. Says the Gemara, from here seemingly we should have a raya that yes, chalipin can be done with a matbeah. But the problem is, we know that's not true. Omer of Yehuda, hachik Omer. This is what the Mishnah means. Call Hanishom Damim Be'acher. Any item whose value has to be figured out to use it as a payment for something else. Meaning, if I have a movable item, Metaltle, not money. Anything else. I'm exchanging my watch for something, as the Mishnah says. I'm exchanging my Ishar for the Chamar, the Para, etc. I'm using any non, any non, um, excuse me, non-money item, then, kivin shezachazeh, the ones, the guy who is selling, takes possession of that item, I'm selling you my car, once I take possession of your watch, which is how you are paying for my car, then, nischayiv b'chalipin, then, the buyer has responsibility for the item, for the car, because at that moment, it's considered that the Kenyan is done. Says the Gemara, the Raya that everyone right now is thinking in their head, Tekanami, this is indeed precise. Why? Because the end of the Mishnah. What did the Mishnah say? Tekatani said the Mishnah. Kate said, what is the case? Hechlev sharbe parach hamar Says the Gemara, this is so Pashit. And in classical Gemara sense, anytime something is Pashit, ask the Gemara, what was the Avamina? Ulamai de Salga Daitin Bay Kard Matvea Naz Khalibin. My you have to ex my Kate said. How do you explain the rest of the Mishnah? If you thought that it was the opposite, if you thought that the Matbeah, the money's being used as the Khalibin, I'm giving you a hundred bucks, not as cash, but as an exchange, how do you understand the rest of the Mishnah? Says the Gemara Hachi Kamar. No, this is what we thought. Again, this is not Pshat. This is what we thought in the Havamina. Hachi Kamar. This is what we thought. We thought that the Mishnah was teaching us a second level. That Peirois can even be Chalipin. So we thought that the Havamina was the, not the item itself, 
the payroys, the offshoot of the item, the basar of the item. We thought that the Mishnah was teaching us a chedesh, that even that could be used as chalipin. So says the Gemara, this is not so simple. Ha nicha, seven lines down. First one line is ha nicha. Ha nicha, Rav Sheshes, the repairs have the chalipin. According to Rav Sheshes, who holds? The payrois, that offshoots, that items can be used as chalipin. Great, the Mishnah is understandable. What are you going to say? The Mishnah seemingly is at odds with Rav Nachman. This is the Chiddush of the Mishnah according to Rav Nachman. That there are times that money, that the monetary payment could be effective as a Chalipin. Ketzad. If you're utilizing the value of the item for the other item in that scenario, then it as well could work. Or says the Gemara, my time. What's the reason why this works? And the premise of the Gemara's Kasha is that in general, as Rashi here speaks out, Rashi is towards the end of the narrow lines, four lines from the bottom. Rashi says, My daima, shiny mishar mois. How is this different than any other money? Money usually is not a valid acquisition for movable properties. As we've seen, you have to do a mishicha or a hagba, you have to pull or pick up the item itself. Says the Gemara, you know why? Because Savar la kirav yechanan. Damar, this is all going according to Shittas Rav Yechanan, who holds the Var Taira Ma'is Kainais. Really, on the Darais, on the biblical level, money is yes, a Kenyan. Umatan Amru Meshicha Kaina. So, what's the reason that we know you have to do Meshicha? Gizera. It's a decree. It's a Dindarabana. Shema Riyam Rulai. Maybe you'll say, Nitzu Chutecha Baaliya. Says the Gemara, and therefore, the concern with money being a Kenyan is that the other person claim, I pay you for the item, and before I come to take the item, you're going to claim, oh, the item got destroyed. But at Kizero's own, and therefore, excuse me, the only time I could buy your wheat is by picking up the wheat, by pulling the wheat. Because then you're never going to be able to claim that the item got destroyed. But says the Gemara that Kizero de Rabbanan only is going to apply by normal items, regular money. But Milsa de la Shricha, la Yagazer be Rabbanan. Says the Gemara, beautiful. But the Reish Lakish, Dama Mishicha Mefurash, is Minataira. Reish Lakish says, no. Reish Lakish says that Mishicha is explicit in the Taira. So, ha, Nicha, Savla, Kerav, Sheish. Now we have to do math. If he holds like Rav Sheish, it's Geval, the Dumber Bears, Avdi Chalipin. Metar, it's Kerav Sheish. He explains the Mishlak Rav Sheish. No problem. Eli, if you're going to tell me that Reish Lakish, you hold that Mishicha is a Dinda Rais, he's Savla, Kerav, Nachmin. Dumber Bears, Loy, Avdi Chalipin. Oh, Matveh, like Ani. But my Mukilna, then you'll have no way. So, for Reish Lakish, doesn't hold. Like Rav Sheishes, then we run into a problem, says the Gemara, El al Karchach, Al Karchach, Rav Sheishes, Firele, Rish Lakish, muscle like Rav Sheishes. And according to Rish Lakish, that Meshicha is a Kenyan de Araisa. The only way that the way to learn the Mishnah is that Rish Lakish must hold like Rav Sheishes. We'll pick it up for the next Mishnah the next year, Bisiyata Dishmaya.